Baju, hello, and welcome to my channel, Sarah Sierra Tarot. I am Sarah, and I'm here today to do a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And those of you who are wanting to find out about a Sagittarius, you're also welcome here. Spirits, ancestors, and guides, please guide me today for my highest good so that I may deliver a message to those that are listening for the sun, moon, rising sign of Sagittarius and Venus. Let no bad spirits enter into this space that mean me or those that are listening any harm. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side to light, to guard, to rule and guide. From simple stain will keep me free, and at this hour my helper be. Okay. Sagittarius. Saggy. When to use the wisdom of the Oracle? That by Colette Baron Reed. First card we get is TikTok. Time's a wasting. Change in the wind. I think. And buy the book. Hmm. There's time a wasting here, Sagittarius, and there's a change that's gonna occur. And there's a need for you to maybe look into something, some kind of custom, something that needs to get passed on to those that are um, younger than you. There's an opportunity for you to teach those that are younger than you. And time's a wasting, the time is now because there is change happening. And underneath, we have breathe. Sagittarius, you need to take time to meditate. Do some breath work. Maybe this is a sign that um, you're rushing around all the time and that needs to change because there's things you need to show people and you need to be a balanced person, so you need to make sure that you're grounded. Because underneath that, you have a leg up. You got a leg up. And by the book, you're needing to teach those, maybe your children. Maybe you're need, needing to show them what is going on what they need to learn in life. That's a, a very important. It's the whole point of being a leader, being a mother, is to show others how things run and operate. Okay, Sagittarius. But there's some kind of change going on right now and it's happening. Tick tock. <laughs> Tick tock. Maybe you're on TikTok. But a change is happening right now. And that buy the book card is about traditions. You needing to pass on some traditions. Or maybe traditions are changing. That's what's going on here. And it's happening right now. It needs to change right now. You taking the time to breathe. Showing others how to rest and relax. Creating a tradition for it. Okay, let's see what's in your energy, Saggy. Saggy. 
Seven of Pentacles, investing in something. Three of Pentacles, some kind of creative project, cooperating with others. Planting the seeds about cooperation. And here you have the King of Cups. This is mature love. This is a mature man. You have a mature man. <laughs> or maybe you're looking for, you're in your loving energy. You're like in a peace and harmony. You have, you have this card, Breathe, where you're just like, zong. And then you're also doing it here. Uh oh, card card down. The card that fell out was the Five of Pentacles, which is um, Five of Pentacles is like feeling feeling outside of society, but it's also a card of somebody that is choosing to stay away from people. They're like preparing themselves spiritually so that they can um, communicate with the spirits. So Saggy, I think that um, this meditation has put you into this <laughs> this loving energy, this mature loving energy, so that you know how to do that you're opening up your creativity, you're investing in creative things. This guy is also playing with the sound bowl, or it could be scrying, looking into the water scrying. situation you're dealing with six of cups this is about nostalgia could be somebody from your childhood too you could be thinking about childhood friends or maybe your dog loyalty dogs are all about loyalty maybe you're communicating with a past loved one or you're thinking about a soulmate soulmates can be Somebody that you have a soul contract with something. And a soul contract with somebody is just having to learn from somebody. You choosing your, to learn from that person something in this lifetime. The moon. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It's also secrets. It could be some kind of secret going on with maybe a soulmate. And then we have the Page of Swords, which is like the spying card or communication over the internet. And we have victory, some kind of victory at hand. Hmm. Looks like... Whoever you're dealing with, this person from your past or your childhood, somebody that you're nostalgic about, there's some kind of secret going on. And they're spying. Or some type of communication over the internet. And some and there's some kind of victory at hand. Okay. What's the outcome? The sun pure joy and happiness that woman is receiving all kinds of energy from the sun joy love opening up her heart dancing what else is the outcome here the sun card is also a leo my dog for air in the back the tower, sudden change. Some kind of sudden change is happening, Sagittarius. 
Two of Swords. Thou shall not pass. You've been blindfolded. Time, time to take the blindfold off. There's been some kind of sneaky behavior going on. Seven of Swords. And you've been sitting around patiently waiting for something. You've been grounding yourself there, Sagittarius, but some type of sneakiness is coming to light or something, and you've been blinded about it. You could also be dealing with a Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, some earth sign. Hmm. You did get TikTok and Change in the Wind by the book, Breathe. Then we have here the sun and the tower. Something's coming to light and it could have to do with you wearing this blindfold. Some lying, cheating, sneaky behavior going on by a, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords here. What is this Seven of Swords? King of Swords. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody, an intellectual leader. Why is the King of Swords here? The Strength card. So the Strength card is about overcoming something, some type of toxic behavior. Could also be a Leo. Why is the Strength card here? Ten of Swords backstabbing and betrayal huh you got the seven of swords and the ten of swords the ten of swords is this person is something is dead done and over with it looks like there's been something going on with this air sign and this earth sign and it involves lying, cheating, and stealing. And there was some backstabbing and betrayal there. And finally, something is being overcome. Because there's joy to be had here. You've been blindfolded for a long time, but something is crashing. Okay, and what do we have under the deck? Ooh, Page of Pentacles. There's some money on the way, a money message. <laughs> You're going to be victorious. There's some secret. And the truth is coming out. There's going to be joy and happiness for you. TikTok, it's coming up soon. There's going to be a change in the wind. And you just need to meditate and stay calm. Because somebody wants you to help somebody out. Or maybe you have helped somebody out. Okay, and that's your money message. I don't know. Let's see what blocks you have going on here, Saggy. What blocks are there for Sagittarius? Are there blocks for Sagittarius? What is going on?
we have here Justice. Looks like she's on a tightrope trying to balance. There's all kinds of numbers all over, a bunch of 11s. And she has the sword of truth there. And she got some, some cups for earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Never notice. Oh, those are those are scales that she has hanging off her ears for her earrings. But there's something to do with the law. Death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio and the law. And we have here the star. Hmm. Now this was in your blocks. So something in a court system has been blocking you from this rebirth. Because death is about rebirth and getting your wishes fulfilled or healing. So, and now remember, there's a change in the wind going on. And it could be that something in court has been blocking um, your wishes being filled, fulfilled. And it could have to do with a Scorpio or it else it could have to do with some kind of rebirth, some kind of change in the wind. What advice can we give for Sagittarius? We have the strength card. And the high priestess. And the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Um, I think the advice to you is that um, you need to use your intuition about how to overcome this toxicity that you've been dealing with. And fate and destiny is at hand right now. But you need to use your intuition about something. Why is the hype? Why is the strength card here? Ten of Pentacles. You got big money coming. Ten of Pentacles is about a legacy. There's some type of legacy wealth that is on its way to you. And you need to. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? We have Page of Wands, which is a passionate message. And we have the Temperance card, which is angelic help. Archangel Michael is helping you out with you. Some kind of passionate message is forthcoming. And you need to use your intuition about it. Because fate and destiny is at hand. What else does Saggy need to know? Seven of Wands. Boundaries. Eight of Pentacles. This has to do with your work. And we have here Page of Pentacles. I think you had Page of Pentacles earlier. There's some kind of money message coming to you. Yeah. Saggy, this is really good news. And underneath, we have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant has to do with traditions, um, 
it also can be a religious organization. It could be government. It could also be um, higher education. But you're getting some type of mes money message and the wheel is turning. Fate, destiny is at hand. And you've been the hermit, you've become wise. And there's some type of ending, some completion is at hand. And there's a truth coming to light. This Hierophant, there's going to be swift communication. And I think you're going to get an apology. Having to do with this heartbreak. That heartbreak card was hidden, hidden underneath there twice now already, Saggy. But I, you got new money message coming here. And something is collapsing. I hope that was helpful, Saji. Bama P. See you later.